Okay, what I've got set up here to show is Barracks Simple Paging. So I've got uh, a Barracks Xtreamer 100, a Barracks P5, uh, the PS1, it's the two button paging station, um, and then another Xtreamer 100 plugged into an external amp, and then of course uh, the soft phone for the app for Simple Paging. And let me first start with, uh, you wanna go to Barracks Downloads, okay to find the simple paging and they have that under solutions see i'll choose the simple paging solution okay and this gives you you know a link to where you can get the manual and user guide for it and then also the firmware um and you'll see when you download this you're going to have a simple paging kit and then a gateway and then a configuration tool um the simple paging kit now so the same bin file when you upload the firmware the same one goes on the masters and the endpoints. So you load this firmware into the ones you want to be the masters and the ones you want to be the endpoints. And here's the gateway. This is the this is a separate firmware that you want to load into the Xtreamer 100 that you're going to use as the gateway. So this again, this is a typical Barracks Xtreamer 100 with a line level audio output, but in this case you're using it as like a server. Okay, and when you load the firmwares on the devices, um, let me hear, I'll first start with the gateway, okay? Um, you'll see up in the corner there, it says simple paging gateway. Um, and see here's the endpoint, it says simple paging endpoint. And then a master, this is my PS1 in my example here, see how it says simple paging master up here in the corner. Now, when you load the firmwares onto the boxes, if you do not get this, okay, if you don't get the correct nomenclature here up at the top, then do a reset on the boxes. Do like a, what's a barracks reset, and there's a reset button on the front of the boxes. You press and hold it for 10 seconds, and then it will reboot. And make sure you have the correct description in the device you want. Um, once you get this, actually the devices then are set to just work right out of the box. So you're... Your master will have everybody into group one, any of your endpoints in group one, and you'll press a button and just boom, the audio will page out the master right to the endpoints. What I've done here is I've set up, again, a PS1 to be a master station, um, uh, an Xtreamer 100, which is the line level output into an amplifier, an external amplifier. I have that to be one of my zones. And another one of my zones is a P5. This is the PoE device with an 8 ohm output. Uh, right to a speaker I have connected here and <clears throat> what I've done if you look in the gateway here okay is I've got them set up you'll see each device each endpoint is a zone okay and what I've done then is they have you set up groups so you can page to one zone or you can put a couple of zones in a group and then page to two zones at one time or obviously an all call um, and you'll see when you go to when you when you configure up a group there see all of your endpoints that are active will show up and then you select which ones you want to be in that group so here's group one set up I've just selected this first zone here okay um, let me go back okay and I'm calling like that the cafeteria and then the playground would be zone two and again I have this endpoint set up as zone two the p5 You'll see here I call it here's the, the in the configuration the basic settings of this simple endpoint here zone ID is 2 it's an Xtreamer P5 all right and again there's a configuration tool too that you can use to set all these up and I'll demonstrate uh, how to use it real fast like I'll page out the one zone here testing hello 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 okay and then on my other one here I've set up as an all call Hello, 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 hello. So it's that the volume's coming out both the amplified speaker there and the zone, the uh, outdoor speaker as well too. And here, I want to show you what it's going to look like on the app. Okay. So once I start up the app, you see the name, trying to get it in focus here, the name of those groups does come through. You see over here, I have my group name, cafeteria is that one zone. The second zone is a playground. And then the third group is both of those zones at one time. You'll see that those names, 
sorry, let me get it in focus here. See how those come through. I got cafeteria, playground, or both of them. So I select that one group and I hit this to page. Hello, 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 hello. hello, hello. hello. And you'll hear it come out there. And then if I select the just the playground page. Hello, 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 hello. You hear it coming out the horn speaker. And then here, of course, if I select the group that's both of them together. Hello, 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 hello. You hear audio out both of them. And see that, and again, they will show up in the app for simple paging there as well, too.